Hey, this is Dr. B, and this is a review of two ultralight, ultra cheap backpacks. One is known as the Modes backpack, which I picked up and just got today. And the other one is known as the Way North pack, which I have not seen reviewed yet on YouTube. I have seen a lot of reviews on the Modes pack, so this might be uh, the first time this thing's getting reviewed. And if you look at Amazon, which is where I bought them, you'll see that this is the Modes 40 liter backpack. And this is the Way North 45 liter backpack. Now, take a look. <laughs> it's not even close. The 40 liter backpack, I'm pleased to say, is much larger than the 45 liter uh, Way North backpack. I'm planning on using the Modes backpack for the Colorado Trail uh, going ultralight. And I think it's big enough to get the job done. Um, let me go over some properties of each one, but just to cut to the chase, I don't think this one is any, anywhere near big enough to go on a long distance backpacking trip, at least for me, maybe you could pull it off. Uh, just a couple of features as you look at it. This one checks in at just about a pound, around 16 ounces. This one, the quoted weight, they say is 12 and three quarter ounces. Those are good weights for ultralights. I didn't actually weigh either one. This one went for $25 uh, and free shipping. This one was $23 with a $3 discount. So I got this for 20 bucks. Uh, shipped free as well. And why don't we start with this little guy here. Um, boy, it's really much, much smaller than I thought it would be. To me, I thought it would be. To me, it's like a glorified day pack. I'm going to put these on in a minute for you, but I'm five foot seven, and you can get a frame of reference here. It's pretty small. No um, waist belt of any type does have a sternum strap, has this very strange pocket which only goes down to about here in the back. You almost never see this kind of thing because people worry about chafing. And all it does is, you know, have a tiny little space there for I don't know what. Uh, it does have these nice tops. You know, this is sewn on so it doesn't expand. I do like this kind of a compression system because it really can cinch this thing down and make it a lot thinner. The water bottle pockets are pretty small. It's a shame they're not really big. But it does have one of these stuff it pockets, which are very popular. And anytime I go hiking, I always like really appreciate these for just throwing stuff in without wasting any time. Usually if you're into ultralight pet, uh, backpacking, you really don't spend too much time just hanging out and taking your pack off and relaxing. So to be able to just stuff stuff in here, especially if it's wet, is great. But it's small. If you look at it, it does have some lycra here for expanding, but not much, you know. This is all you can fit in it is, you know, uh, I don't know, a few baseballs worth, something like that. It's not a ton of space. Uh, what else can I tell you about this pack? Straps on both of these packs are relatively thin. It does have the stern straps. It's good looking. Construction seems fine. Love the color. Don't like two straps, I'd rather just clip in using one. Uh, I'm not going to open it up. I don't have it stuffed with anything in particular. But this is a quick look at this one. And here's the mode days, which I just got. So I got no real experience to tell you about this one. But I can say it is way bigger. And I'm pretty convinced that I can pull off a long distance hike using this thing. I used to use Go Light stuff. Uh, and this reminds me a lot of it. It's probably similar dim dimensions to a pack I've used in the past. And a little bit heavier, but still a pound is fantastic. Love the purple color. Love the fact that the water bottles uh, straps are massive, right? You can put like a lot of stuff. You could probably fit two one liter water bottles on each side, which is great. They're at a height that, you know, you probably have to take off a strap in order to get add it but that's fine and it does have a pretty cool waist belt with each one having pockets now when you just put it on you see that the, everything's really close to your hips and i'd rather it went around 
And I don't know why they didn't bother making these things large because this is just so convenient to have stuff here. I did manage to fit my Samsung Note 9 in here just barely, so that's kind of nice. And, you know, both of these pads have a compartment up top here. They have a compartment on the inside, but it doubles as the stuff set. I really kind of like that design. So if you open this thing up, maybe I'll try to do it just a little bit. If you open this thing up, you'll have inside it the actual stuff sack. I guess I won't bother, but you'll have the stuff sack inside that kind of comes with this thing and it's sewn on and it zips because it's reversible. So you can actually use it for anything you're really worried about it because it's a zippered compartment, you know, which a lot of times there, there isn't anything except the very top one. So for the things you really don't want to lose, like your keys or something like that, you got a super safe spot to put those. Again, the construction looks absolutely fine to me. You see bar tacks all over the place. It's got this cute way of getting things in on the side there, which is kind of nice. I wonder if I could slide my phone in there if I wanted to. And I'm good to go with this backpack. I'm going to go ahead and pause things and show it to you when I put both of them on. Okay, let's put on the Way North pack first. So this little guy, putting it on, I'm five foot seven. And there you go. And this is what it looks like when it's on. These both, I kind of have a sort of barrel-like shape that I'm, that's not particularly ideal. I'd prefer if they were wider and maybe narrower so that they went from side to side and really took advantage of all the space on your back. They really stick out kind of like barrels, if you see. You could probably fix that with some smart loading a little bit. These things slide down. No waist belt, but I'm sure you could rig up something if you wanted to. I'm sure you could rig up something that if you needed to that would also have a pocket on it, which would be handy. Daniel Yi reviewed the Modes pack and was curious about this, so here's how it compares. And he modded his Modes quite a bit. He put a nice stuff it thing made out of mesh here. And it's not that hard to find one, and I've ordered one that fits. I got a color matched one that's made out of nylon. The dimensions are roughly 12 by 12 and it, there's attachment points. And it, I think anybody that uses those things comes to really like them for using them. So I'll be attaching something like that on there. And here's what this one looks like when I put it on. Way bigger. I kind of like the dimensions of this one. And, you know, I've been doing this for a long time, and I come from that era where you always used a big, fat waist belt, and it is kind of nice to this day. Even if I'm only carrying, like, 20 pounds, I like to loosen this way up and feel all the weight shift right down onto your waist belt. It just feels good. And this is what this one looks like on. They both go way out. The dimensions are just kind of funny if you compare it to some of the more expensive designs, it looks different. But who cares for, a, um, if you're not traveling with that much, you really don't even need the waist strap anyhow. And you can see how if you want to grab that water bottle. Well, maybe ah, you could get at it, but you could also just drop it down, go like that and grab whatever you need while you're walking and throw it back on and you're good to go. I like this pet, I think I'm gonna, Go for it. I'm going to use this one. The only mod that I'm planning on making is adding some kind of mesh thing to here. And that is a comparison of the Modes 40 liter to the Way North, not anywhere near 45 liter backpack.